Curious about the new Dungeons & Dragons film, Honor Among Thieves? Then stay tuned for my relatively spoiler-free review. Hello and welcome to RPG PhD, I'm Dr. Ben, and today I'll be reviewing the new Dungeons & Dragons film, Honor Among Thieves. Before I dive into my review, I think it's important to mention the trilogy of previous Dungeons & Dragons films, even though they are related in name only to this latest film. The first Dungeons & Dragons movie released in 2000 was a critical and commercial failure. It was criticized for its weak writing, poor acting, and reliance on special effects. The movie failed to capture the essence of the tabletop game, and many fans were disappointed with the final product. The second film, Dungeons & Dragons Wrath of the Dragon God, released in 2005, was an improvement over the first movie. It had a more engaging story, better special effects, and a more accurate portrayal of the game's mechanics. However, it still failed to resonate with audiences and many critics panned the movie for its lack of originality and reliance on cliches. The third film, Dungeons & Dragons The Book of Vile Darkness, released in 2012, was a significant improvement over its predecessors. The movie had a darker tone and a more mature storyline, making it more engaging to watch. The film was also praised for its improved special effects, better writing, and more accurate portrayal of the game's mechanics. Mostly these three films are what I consider Mystery Science Theater 3000 level bad. You know, so bad that they, uh, they're fun to watch because of their awfulness. One last special mention are the gamers in The Gamers Darkness Rising. These indie films follow a group of tabletop gamers as they play a game of Dungeons and Dragons. The films are a hilarious and somewhat accurate portrayal of the game, and it's a must watch for any fan of tabletop gaming. The movie captures the humor, camaraderie, and adventure of Dungeons & Dragons in a way that no other film had done before. Dungeons & Dragons has had a huge surge in popularity in recent years due to the release of the 5th edition of the game, the success of Critical Role in Stranger Things, and a tabletop renaissance of people playing and trying tabletop role-playing more than ever before. As D&D has moved completely into the mainstream, no longer burdened with the bad press of the satanic panic of the 1980s, at least in certain circles, it should surprise no one that a new film would be in the works. Although Wizards of the Coast had a major misstep recently with their handling of the open game license, which they had to reverse due to fan backlash. Some fans have even decided to boycott the film due to this. Directed by John Francis Daly and Jonathan Goldstein, written by the same, along with Michael Gillow, starring Chris Pine, Michelle Rodriguez, Reggae Jean Page, a charming bardic thief and a band of unlikely adventurers undertake an epic heist to retrieve a lost relic, but things go dangerously awry when they run afoul of the wrong people. The group must work together and rely on their unique abilities to overcome the challenges they face and complete their mission. One of the standout features of Honor Among Thieves is its focus on the characters. The film takes some time to develop the group of adventurers, exploring their backstories that helps to make them more than just one-dimensional caricatures. The audience becomes invested in their journey and feels the weight of their struggles and triumphs. This attention to character development is a significant improvement over the previous films, which often relied on archetypes and stereotypes. Another improvement in Honor Among Thieves is the special effects. The film's visual effects are a significant step up from the previous entries in the franchise. The movie world feels more immersive and the creatures and landscapes look more realistic. The filmmakers made a conscious effort to stay true to the game's aesthetics and it shows in the final product. This attention to detail enhances the audience immersion in the world of Dungeons and Dragons. The movie's faithfulness to the game's mechanics and mythology is another standout feature. Unlike the previous films, Honor Among Thieves does not take significant liberties with the source material. Now, before someone comments about druids not being able to shift into owlbears because they are monstrous and not beasts, and that only 20th level druids could wild shape that number of times before resting, or that sending stones don't work that way, or intellect devourers wouldn't ignore tasty minds, and the bard makes his charisma checks but never uses magic, you are of course correct. But what I mean is that the changes are not so different as to no longer be recognizable as D&D. And also there's this whole idea of adapting one type of media into another, which is a whole other video. What I'm trying to say is that one of the significant aspects that Honor Among Thieves gets right is the popular rule of cool in Dungeons & Dragons. The movie overlooks some of the rules of the game, resulting in epic fight scenes and stunning visual effects that enhance the movie's entertainment value. In the game, the rule of cool allows dungeon masters to bend the rules to make the story more exciting, and the film follows suit. Despite some of its flaws, we can forgive the movie for its departures from the source material as they make the film a lot more enjoyable to watch. That being said, the movie wasn't without its flaws. There were a few pacing issues, particularly in the beginning, that made the film feel slow at times. Additionally, some of the action sequences felt a bit repetitive, which made them less impactful. It is not a deep film, and the story is surface level, but it does have some heart at its center. 
Some of the humanoid species felt a little cartoonish rather than something grounded in a fantasy reality, and the chonky dragon, while funny, was a bit much for me and served to pull me out instead of into the film. The tone of the film is mixed and leans heavily into comedy, which for some is a virtue and others a vice. Overall, I found Dungeons and Dragons Honor Among Thieves to be an enjoyable and entertaining film. The writing was solid and the characters were well developed, making it easy for the audience to root for them. The special effects were also well done, creating a visually stunning world that felt authentic to the game's lore. It was nice to see some of D&D's most iconic creatures brought to life with modern special effects. I also especially enjoyed all the easter eggs and winks and nods to in-game things. Overall, I would recommend Dungeons & Dragons Honor Among Thieves to fans of the game and fantasy films in general. While it may not be a perfect movie, it's a significant improvement over its predecessors and a solid entry in the franchise. Whether it's enough to warrant the beginning of a new multi-platform universe remains to be seen, but it's worth the watch if you're in the mood for some light popcorn entertainment. I hope you enjoyed this video about the review of Dungeons & Dragons Honor Among Thieves. If so, please like and subscribe, and thanks for watching. See you next time.